So that comes to the end of the presentation. For anybody that wants to explore or chat further about investing in continental Europe or in the UK, coming to that, please give me a card or come and talk to me at the end. Um, I am on social media or one of those there. I also have a 2020 Entrepreneur and Expat Investor Guide on my website, property-adventure.com forward slash investor. You can download it there. And I also send out regular mailings to those people on my database which you would be if you downloaded that guide. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. I've got my, I mean, I'm, I'm there under Property Venture, but also on sirlouise.a.reynolds on both Facebook and, and Instagram, and on LinkedIn, uh, Louise Reynolds. So I will come to the end of the presentation. If any of you are on LinkedIn, if, you, if you've got the LinkedIn app on your phone, if you... Um, <coughs> Scan that barcode, it'll bring up my profile if you wanted to send me an invite, if anyone wants to do that. Because um, that will then draw me to the end of the presentation and to see if there are any questions. Because I know I have rattled through some of that quite quickly. And I know I speak quickly. <laughs> Anybody got any questions? Beat your win submission. Yeah. No one's, uh, I mean, I'm just on the sort of creative side, because I, I love the sign of these very low interest mortgages. So, if, you know, um, I mean, do you have any clients where you've helped them get something at a substantial discount, like even a refurb and old, what they call ski chalets over there, or, you know, um, stuff, I, mean, I know Spain had a massive knock uh, on its market. Are there stuff that you can buy at a discount, and then would you still qualify for the same top financing? Was that not something you've Oh, on the fact, um, in terms of the tax efficiency, um, a lot of those tax schemes are linked. Well, I'm not talking with, about tax efficiency. Yeah, you can make okay. 25% fair enough. You can, you, can still, you can still get those kind of mortgages on a resale property. Right. Yes, yeah. yes. And those kind of, and I have a, mm. a wide network of agents who sell those resale properties. Yeah. Right. Um, the, the issue there is just getting the appropriate independent legal advice just to make sure the title and, and, and stuff are in. Um, in keeping, but yeah, no, you can get those mortgages on. And, and have you noticed, has there been a sort of, have you noticed sort of an influx of sort of Brits going in in the last sort of year or two, or people being a bit standoffish because of all the uh, uh, Brexit stuff? Or uh, Last year, yeah. a lot of people mm. were sitting on their hands because yep. nobody knew what was going on and what to do, and I think that since after the general election, where people have this slightly better feel-good factor that we're heading in a direction, mm. Um, people are now coming back to the market, well I've been seeing it in the UK and abroad as well. So people are starting to invest again. I think a lot of people in the trade and in the industry that I knew have all said similar things. And certainly the conversations that I'm having, um, there is renewed interest in investing both in continental Europe and the UK. And if I'm not hogging all the questions, um, just one more question. How developed is their sort of buy to let market, and is is you know is it is there sort of comparable to sort of buy to let or buy fix up and sell on sort of mortgage products out there? Uh, I, I would say it's not as sophisticated in that respect as the UK market. Right. So the financial markets are different, the mortgage markets are different, um, and I think that the UK leads the way in a lot of those creative or different alternative strategies. Right. Um, I don't see so much of that happening in Spain or France or Poland. Obviously, there are strategies like service accommodation. Um, you know, there's not so much of HMOs and that kind of thing going on. But holiday lets and service accommodation. Um, service accommodation is more of a sort of recent thing. But holiday lets, I mean, that's the the mainstay of a lot of the properties in, in the lives of Spain and, and, and France, really. But, then, but you'd get that sort of rate, so they say 70% loan to value, whatever it was, 2%, 3% interest. And if you told them, I want to basically rent it 80% of the year and spend two months, uh, you'd get mortgage like that, or at that sort of rate, would you? Uh, I, I, don't, I need to have a conversation. They, yeah. they, they don't um, recognise buy to let. They, they don't have official buy to let mortgages in uh, the same yeah. way uh, that we do here. So it's a slightly different calculation, and you would need to prove a certain level of income right. in order to sustain that. So, um, yeah, it, it's a slightly different calculation. Louise, I know I started looking at the possibility of buying somewhere in Spain um, using your services, and I thought it would be nice if you um, said a bit about how you work with clients 
to help yeah. them? Yeah. So I, um, I, I think I alluded to it up front, but I try and find out, I ask a series of questions when someone comes to me first to try and find out what it is that someone's looking for and... Um, prices and... Sorry? No. Prices in different yes, areas. Yes, so I've got a good idea of yeah. So if, if, yeah, so if, <laughs> if someone has a particular budget, I know where the areas are. For example, in Spain, where you're likely to get something for that budget or not. So if it's a limited budget, there are certain areas where you can get properties for that price. But sometimes it's about marrying up the realism of a budget with the area that someone's looking at. So I will give guidance on whether something's realistic or not. Um, and sometimes it can be that if you just move inland a little bit, you can get an awful lot more for your money um, rather than being on the coast. So yes, I give some guidance and a sanity check on what it is that someone's looking for. Is that is that what you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, then, and also like the hand holding, how yes, you go and I, about Yes, I've it. got I've got all the connections in terms of you know mortgage brokers, um, independent lawyers, um, agencies. If if someone wants to rent out the property, so I provide that full service. But it's about marrying up what someone wants with what's on the market rather than product push. So it's, it's really about being client-led and relationship-led. Does that yeah. sum it, sum yeah. it up? Sum, yeah. sum it up? <laughs> uh, 